Hi, this is Sharon Reeve from Advanced Motion Controls. Today we're going to go over commutation with an analog drive and a brushless motor. Okay, here we have our brushless motor, our analog drive, the hall sensor feedback is coming in here to the P1 connector. This is our motor power connector. Here we have a switch to enable and disable the drive. And we have a potentiometer to apply a signal to the drive. We recommend you set the drive for open loop mode while configuring commutation. Refer to the data sheet for your drive for the correct potentiometer and switch settings. If open loop mode is not an option for your drive, set the mode to voltage or current. Before beginning, it is good to verify that the hall sensors are working. A simple test is to spin the motor shaft by hand when the drive is in 60 degree phase mode and then again in 120. If the hall sensors are working, one phase setting will blink red green while the other one stays green. Set the phase switch so you get a constant green light as you rotate the motor. There are six different wiring combinations but only one will be correct. We're going to use the process of elimination to find the correct one. Start by writing a chart that lists the possible combinations. Then go through each combination until you find the right one. This combination is red, black, white. Okay, we're going to give it a positive command. And nothing's happening. You can see it vibrates in both directions, so clearly this is not the right combination. Okay, this combination is black, red, white. Okay. Okay, now I have a negative command. It's three volts. You can see the motor's not moving. I had to nudge it to go in the uh, counterclockwise direction, so clearly this is not the right combination. Okay, this combination is black, white, red. Okay. Got a positive signal, no movement. And in the negative direction, it shakes violently. So again, not the correct combination combination is red, white, black. You can see as I change the command signal, the drive operates smoothly in the forward and reverse direction. Okay, this combination is white, red, black. Can I apply a signal? You can see that isn't a good combination because the motor vibrated. Okay, this combination is white, black, red. Okay, so we're going to give it negative signal. It doesn't seem to be moving. You can see this isn't the right combination. 
If it needs a nudge to get going, that's not the right combination. After going through all six combinations, look back at your notes to determine the correct one. In this case, the correct combination is red, white, black. With some motors, it can be difficult to determine the correct commutation because some combinations look almost as good as the correct one. In difficult cases, you may have to go back and forth to compare.